Hello, my name is Johan Falk. I'm a math and physics teacher in Stockholm, Sweden, and this is a video where I show you how to start up your own version of your own copy of Spreadsheet Actions, a way to manage actions and do stuff in Google Spreadsheets that might be handy for teachers and other people. So, uh, the link that you need to remember is this tinyurl.com slash spreadsheet actions. This will give you a copy of the latest stable version of Spreadsheet Actions. If we do this, hit enter, you'll go to Google Drive and you'll see that the most uh, recent version is called Alpha 1 and we make a copy of this. Wonderful! So now Google Document, Google Drive is contacted and you get a new spreadsheet which you can change uh, name to um, if you would like. Let's not do that actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, so before starting to use this you'll need to authorize the script. You do this by trying to run it, go here to the menu called Spreadsheet Actions and for example run say help. It says you need to authorize and it will have to be able to read data from Google Spreadsheets and it needs to manage app-related data. That's kind of minimum right now. Approve. With more plugins you will need to uh, approve it again and again uh, so you can send emails or read documents or whatever. And here was the help. You can read things here if you want to. There is also an instructions tab here, an instructions sheet with uh, three links. One is for making a copy, the one we just used. One is videos introducing spreadsheet actions. There is no link yet because I'm recording these videos right now. And one is, this is kind of interesting, um, a place to read more and download plugins for spreadsheet actions. It's a place called GitHub and I'll show you in another video how to install new plugins so you can do cool stuff. Okay, that's kind of it to get started. Uh, I will show you in the next video how to install a plugin. See you there.